Whoa. Hello, hello. We'll just be waiting a bit here while people join in. What's up? Yes, I'm here with Doomsday. So... Hello, hello. This probably won't last too long, but um, it'll be fun. And it'll be exciting to see uh, discuss a bit around what's gonna happen. And the fact that everyone's probably going to see each other in like two days, if everyone's going. You could jam out with Kirby for a bit. Yeah. Nothing else joins in. Yeah. Look at him go! Yeah. That's some very it's gonna be... good music for my uh, AFK thing. <laughs> yeah. He's just vibing out, man. He is vibing. I respect it. Yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good to see everyone who's going. For those that are joined and who are coming to COE, it's gonna be nice. It'll be nice to see everyone again. I mean, a lot of people for the first time. Uh, it's gonna be cool um, to see everyone play the tournament. You qualified? I was so excited. I still need to do uh, some of my setup. Actually, I'm only halfway through my packing. <laughs> I keep putting it off. Same. Uh, I I've brought out the clothes, and that's it. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much where I am. Right now my bed's just covered in all my clothes. I need to put it in my suitcase yet, mm -hmm. but... I need to do it at some point because, uh... Yep. I need my bed to sleep. Hi, I'm traveling tomorrow. It's, uh... <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I've got another day. I've got yeah. another day, yeah. I actually, I actually have work tomorrow. I'm going on Tuesday. Ah, uh, I see. So I've still... I've still got bits to do. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, I... I wasn't feeling so stressed when the week started. Now I'm feeling so stressed. <laughs> had to <laughs> had to fix the result sheet and everything. Let's see. 
can we change the flashlight? No. There, there'll be... I mean, the flashlight pick was in the qualifiers for a reason, but that's all I'm gonna say. Um, like I said, before uh, <laughs> I saw that, that, that flashlight map pop up in the qualifiers pool, I hadn't played that map in ages, I forgot exactly, I forgot how cool it was. <laughs> yeah, uh, I played that in in some tournament, like a many years ago, four, I think. It was a, uh, it was called Not Suitable for Tournament or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it was in there. That was a funny pick. But it is uh, 9 now, so I think we should... I think I can switch it over now. Uh, I don't have lace. I, I, I didn't have the laser uh, turning client, and I can't be bothered to set it up because I didn't have that much time, fortunately. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go with a Google presentation. So I hope you Let's go. That. Welcome to our PowerPoint presentation. Look at that bread. Yes. I am also just gonna quickly get my phone up. So I can have chat on the side because I only have one monitor. Uh, uh, set up, sorry, I'm still stuck. Also turn off my sound from my phone. There we go. All right. Um, I think it should work. Let's see. Yep, there we go. So, oh yeah, the redeems are on. Don't please don't redeem. Um, I I don't I can't. I'm not gonna go back and fix that right now because this isn't gonna last too long. So just some reminders first uh, of how the seating works. Yeah, I did some math to fi uh, figure out what uh, for what function I wanted for um, the point system. So obviously we all know that accuracy is. Surely everyone knows now that accuracy is 4v1 is going to be used for both the qualifiers and the actual events at COE. This function, uh, you can see here the line. It's essentially meant to punish worse scores while. Higher scores don't really matter too much because we're playing a battle royale. Only the bottom end will be eliminated. So if you get 12th out of 16 when the bottom four get eliminated, you still survive and you can keep going. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I wanted to simulate that with this function. That's essentially the gist of it. Uh, oh, the scroll wheel also <laughs> makes it go. Okay. But yeah. Um, I think the next slide is our DNF players. So I hope so. Prepare yourself. So here we go. So we have the results here. From we have 31 players participating. I guess I was estimating around anywhere between like 32 and 60. So this was slightly below, but I think that's fine with uh, the amount of players that had to qualify anyway. But yeah, you can see the results here. I used the Google Sheets for this. This will be on the uh, this will be on the main sheet soon. Also, yeah. Something I was also worried about was the fact that you're allowed to practice qualifiers even though the event itself is going to be sight read. So I hope that didn't go. Uh, I hope people noticed that. But uh, yeah, you can see some good scores here and there, but also a lot of scores where things didn't go too well. Especially Octopus Dance, uh, that one took a lot of players down. You can see poor LWL here with 8%. But, uh... Octopus Dance is... it's it's really hard, you gotta put the time in on that one. It's, to get the benefit, really. I guess I'm not too surprised why that one's kind of... <laughs> caused a lot of problems for a lot of people. Yeah. So high scores on, on, uh, on minefield surfing, actually, as well. I suppose with it being, uh, I guess, more of a, I guess, standard map as opposed to like Uber gimmick. Seeing some of the high scores there, but I suppose yeah. it's a case of uh, across the five maps. Some nice scores there though. Yep. For number ten, number eleven. Unfortunately, not good enough. As I as with the I said earlier, it's the worst scores to get punished. The more worst scores you have, the worse your score total points will be. So you have to be very, you have to like get average on everything. You can't just get by with a few strong scores, unfortunately. But thank you for playing. Uh, very fun Thanks to see you try. And I hope you'll be here for it's on Friday at 12 uh, local time. So I hope you'll be there to watch or to say hi. And uh, let's get into our top 15 
uh, qualified. Starting with Dragon. Yeah, this is uh, one hell of a surprise. I did I didn't check the ranks until like, just earlier when I was making the slides, and I actually can't believe we have a six-digit qualifying. It's insane. Let's go, UK represent. Uh, that, that, that. Yeah, go on. Man, I think that uh, octopus dance number seven put in so much work. Yeah, I noticed uh, this player really good at like gimmick. Uh, has an FC on, um, yeah, has an FC on one of these when I checked their profile. It's pinned. It was either Octopus Dance or Dandelion. I don't quite remember. I would probably say it's extra for uh, it's Octopus Dance. Oh, actually, no, it might have been the third map that he FC'd, probably, or like has the high icon. Never mind. Yeah, it's probably the third map. Yeah. You can see some three top 16 scores. And two a bit worse, but it's enough to get in with just under 90% average attack. Anything on the time? No, no, I said it's, it's really, really cool to see. Uh, yeah. You say see a six-digit qualifier. I guess they say it. This shows how these sorts of maps, and I guess the maps we'll be seeing as well, are. Uh, <laughs> it, it's a very different sort of thing, right? So it's just cool to see players like this qualify. Really, really cool. Well played. Um, let me see if I can... Oh, that's probably why I was doubled. Sorry. Sorry, you guys watching. <laughs> Here we go. But yeah. Alright, and uh, next up we have Sh Shiragi from Germany. Uh, 3, 3k, pretty good. But yeah, actually has lower average accuracy, but simply had better average scores. And that average accuracy also just got dragged down by Octopus Dance, as you'd expect. Yeah, the accuracies and Octopus Dance were pretty low. That was basically a big decider for um, people who put in the practice and people who didn't, I suppose. But really good average, really good average on the four others. Another. Yeah, four, four top 16 scores here, and top 8 even, on the second one. So I'd say pretty good. Yeah, yeah for sure, it's actually not nice runs all around. Nice number 8 there, well I got that tune. Uh, I also put a note on the map pool about the fact that... Mouse buttons are actually enabled on it even if you have it disabled in Osu. So you have to disable it using like a tablet driver, or you, or you have to hover. <laughs> yeah, it's, you do. It's I believe it's oh. because the map uses a break to uh, make the flashlight bigger, and mouse buttons are somehow still enabled on breaks for whatever reason. Yeah, it's a quirk with that like that exploit, I guess. There's a few maps that do. That. There's a couple of like loved maps I think that do that. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, sections of it where you can't really. Yeah, I know. Transform. Disable it. Transform by Mostrada has a small break section during gameplay. Yeah. That and Grenade as well did. I think the big map. Oh, the spinners. interesting. That map, I think, had it on uh, the entire time as well, mm -hmm. where you have mouse buttons on the entire way. Yes. Alright, next up we have Nalini, also known as Paper Candle, from Norway. My OWC teammate. Under, or uh, above 300, rank 300 here. Very good scores all around. Uh, I'm surprised. I didn't realize you played uh, gimmick maps. Not only her paper. I don't know why I should call you on stream. But yeah. Average shack still lower than uh, Dragon, but probably again because of Octopus Dance. Over 90% on all the other maps, even some 95s, 96s. Yeah, across the board, really solid. Another really good one on uh, on the flashlight map as well. Yeah. Very surprised. Uh, all right, let's move on a bit quicker here. <laughs> Cause the, I don't know if there's much to say about the maps anymore, aside from, or we'll get there when we get some better scores on them. Uh, next up, we have No KJK from South Korea. He's coming to COE again. I'm so excited to see Nope again. Uh, oh, also, see that. also playing the COE qualifier, I believe today. 
So we might have our first player, or alongside Paper Candle actually, or Nanlini, who's gonna play, try and play COE tournament alongside this, which is gonna be really interesting. It's gonna be uh, yeah. busy, man. It's gonna be quite busy for them. Yeah. That, that, that run on minefield surfing, dude. The 98.2. Very good <laughs> score. Very good eye control, BPM control. Really good act on the 2B map as well. Nice place on that. And yeah, mostly just good scores all over, well, overall. Alright, next up. Yeah, anything? I'll say, but my man, octopus dance, yeah, it really does uh, <laughs> it, it ma really make a big difference. It really uh, drags the average act. It's the reason I didn't want to use average accuracy for this, because it's, it's the placement that matters. Also, I am very much expecting people to get similar acts, uh, accuracies to octopus dance during the actual live event. Just saying, yeah. be prepared. Yeah. It's going to be really rough to read on site read. And uh, next up we have Kalangi from France. Uh... First average act above 90 this time, so that means didn't it didn't get dragged down by Octopus Dance here. We see a good 8th place on it actually, with 85%. Very nice. Yeah, fair play. Nice 85%. No, Just I guess the flashlight map being the lower rank, but still fairly solid. I think a lot of people did well on that. Yeah. It's, very good on everything else. The flashlight map is fairly, aside from the, it being flashlight, it's fairly standard, so I, I can see a lot of people getting good act on it. Unless maybe they struggle with the mouse button thing mentioned earlier. But yeah, That's true. Really good scores on everything else. So you can see why it's 12th on the leaderboard with two number 7s, one number 8, and one number 14. Giving him a lot of score. Ah, uh, you're sight reading the flashlight map, I see. That's oh, I only forgot to deactivate the mouse clicks in the driver, so yeah, that did. That was part of it, okay. Happens. <laughs> Happens. Yeah. Alright, next up we have Stormer, also from the UK. Another UK represent. Let's go! Very interesting. Uh, average act below 90 again, just because of Octopus Dance. Uh, Octopus Dance is claiming some lives here. It is, yeah. Octopus Dance is like on a kill streak right now, dude. 53% is nearly top 16. Yeah, it, it was rough. <laughs> so many low scores on it. It, but it's it's good practice if you start reading it. But doing it in the qualifier lobby is uh, very um, risky. But yeah, very good scores on everything else. Nearly 99 on the 2B map, and some good 99 x on the rest as well. Yeah, I'm. I'm not too surprised actually. He had a good run on that 2B map. I remember at Epic Land he was playing really well on that that map in particular. So, oh. but that map being the port, yeah, he's. I think he's well practiced on that one, and it really yeah. shows. That's a super good score. Yeah, yeah. That's another thing I was thinking about. Since, since none of the maps here are custom, then some people might have played these already. So it's better off if it's just revealed ahead of time, so people can. See oh them yeah. And practice them. And also, just there's way too many ways or way too many loopholes that aren't detectable if you're trying to make it a sight read qualifier that I didn't want to get into. So that's why every that's why this was practicable. Yeah, I suppose the main thing is, is you know that they can play gimmick and then you sight read the gimmick. So I guess unless you make a custom map pool, you can't really yeah get around and that. And even then, if you play the pool, you can like send the maps to other people after you played it if you play it first. Yeah, like yeah. to help friends and stuff. I I don't want that. I don't deal with that. The only other solution is to have the qualifier at COE, but that's gonna take that would take really long, because we only have two dedicated setups for the second stage, and if oh, two and two people are gonna play at a time, that's gonna take forever. So yeah, this is probably the best thing I had in mind, or like second idea, that I ended up going with. But yeah, let's go next. <laughs> I've been chat I chat too much. We have Reisholt from France, 50k, very exciting. Uh, another under 90 average check, Octopus Dance claiming yet another victim. Another but, uh, another yeah, one. Another one. Very good average scores here on yeah. the maps though. And the Octopus Dance wasn't too bad. So everything is top 20, so it ended up like averaging around 10th place then. Yeah man, that that like I say, 96% on mindful surfing is very solid. Yeah. Rank 51k is, man, that's the, I, I, that's the act I used to get <laughs> on that map. 
Yeah. That's actually very nice. It's really good. And uh, it's also like top top eight will get around the same score, I believe, or around the same amount of points. So like getting first to eighth place isn't too bad. It's like that's almost top points for that map. It's just not playing badly on uh, other maps. So you can see the octopus dance getting 19th is probably what dragged them down to 10th. Uh, because I can see this. If it wasn't for octopus dance, it would probably be like top six or five. I haven't yeah. done any math. Just trust me. <laughs> <laughs> trust me, bro. Source, source. I made it up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have Ulubrum. Ulubrum. Eh. Ulubrum from Norway. Uh, Winnie the Pooh. Uh, for any English speakers out there. Oh. I yeah, from Norway. So my country again. So that's fun. Oh, I represent. But yeah, you can see here, very, Damn. very good scores on the first three maps. Like, like that, but it's not worth that many more points. So it's only one spot higher than the previous player because, again, one one score that's below 16th. This around like half half a point instead of two. First place, getting first place on the map is around two points, just for reference. Getting eighth place is like 1.7, 1.6, I think. And then anything, and then it just drops down really fast. So, yeah. But yeah, really good scores here. Octopus Dance was pretty good as well. Yeah, and that 85% is, is solid. Like I say, which is, I guess this case, uh, they had a lot of good scores on my field surfing, but everything else is really good. Yeah, Fair play. nearly 99 on uh, the 2B map. Really good. Excited to see you play. 94 Ack is average Ack as well. So nice. Alright, we're out, we're out to top 8 here. Again though, the seeding probably won't matter too much because it's sight read. So any of these results can just not matter or like not actually re correspond to the placings in the event itself. But uh, next up we have Putin Nutella from Netherlands, 21k player. And yeah, this is where we see the strength of being like average on every map. Although there are some really good scores there as well, but not scoring below 17th on every map. And um, because yeah, eighth place, but they're like there's number 16 and number 13, but it's still eighth place because of the how the scoring works. Very well done. Yeah, really good across the board. Really good across the board. It's on everything pretty much. Number six on Octopus Dance. That's a that's always a big deal. That's number, nice. Uh, number six at that eighty-seven percent. Uh, it one, two, three, four, five is the second top default on that map as well. So it's it's a really it's pretty hard. It's a hard version of that. I believe the one, two, three version was the first custom of that um of that map, and then Mr. Helix added the other difficulties later. But yeah, really good act on two B as well, scoring just under uh, Urubrum that we saw. Previous, uh, as the previous player, and yeah, really good. Good luck to you. And we'll look, and next up we have Antonio from Spain. What's up? Um, yeah, again, just very, very good scores. All top, top uh, sixteen with some even higher scores across the board. Yeah, number four on on mine, minefield surfing. I keep wanting to call it Minecraft surfing. <laughs> I have to stop myself. Eh, uh, yeah, you just see <laughs> the word mine. That is the first word that comes to mind. Uh, I, get, I mean, it's also called, it's a featuring creeper works, like, how do you not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, I think that's what it is. I say creeper and I think it's pretty Minecraft surfing. Yeah. Punch trees, dude. Mm -hmm. yeah, eighth place on Dandelion, fourth on Minefield Surfing, ninth on Octopus Dance, very good. Still top 16 on the other maps too. So nearing nine points, even maybe even ten soon, in this last six players. So we have Lefty as number six. Uh, yeah, just under nine points here. Oh, it went a bit off screen. Well, you can still see it. Hope so. Oh, actually, yeah, I can you can see, see it on see stream, nothing. so it's fine. I, I can't yeah. see it on full screen because my taskbar is in the way. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you can you can see it. It's fine. Yeah. But uh, yeah, really good scores here. Third place on Dandelion. That's very nice. Fifth on Octopus Dance with 95% here. 
when 7th place was 87%, so it it spiked up really hard because I think that's the what that was the divide between the people who practiced the map really hard and the people who didn't, or like who, who were struggling with it. So that was, that was really interesting to see. But yeah, the st yeah. storyboard maps, the storyboard maps, both being really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this guy enjoys storyboards that's for sure. That's gonna be very useful. Worst score on the flashlight map, which is fair. It's the, uh, it's probably the most mechanically intensive one, along with having a like sight obscuring gimmick. But yeah, very good. Alright, number five, uh, Schiazzo. What's up? I Schiazzo. saw you chatting earlier. UK prodigy coming up. One one K already. Um, and yeah, you can see here just. Really good at accuracy in general. The third place on the flashlight map. I got that tune and minefield surfing here. Got yeah, ninety eight point six. Goddamn. Really good. And the ninety eight on yeah, and I got that. I got that tune as well. That's sick. That's just good scores all around. Very good scores. About nine points as well. Really nice. Yeah, ninth place on Octopus Dance with like eighty five percent. So it went f so sixth place is like ninety seven. It's actually so crazy to me that it's oh, yeah, just it yeah. that big of a difference. Yeah, I think yeah, number six was like eighty seven, and then number five was like ninety five. Mm -hmm. That's ho holy. That is actually a crazy difference. Yeah. Yeah, there's very really good scores. Okay, uh, for fourth place we have Aleph Gap Money. TJ 1994. I also included this screenshot because it's our only SS in the whole qualifiers on, Dude, the what? <laughs> on the map that everyone just couldn't act. So, yeah, very big props to you for that one. Uh, Nettie, yeah, that's. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, buddy. <laughs> okay. Very good score. Nice SS. Uh, it's, so, it's so good. He's the yeah. GOAT. Very good scores all around as well. Second place on Cornflower. So yeah, we have our first, yeah, also the first player with a first place on the board in the, in the five maps as well. 98.2 back on uh, Minefield Surfing. The worst map was the 2B map, which had a pretty high accuracy uh, spread in general. But yeah, very good. Yeah, Actually, it's I good think it's good. I, I said earlier that some people might have oh, had 10 points, but I just realized that's impossible. Because, uh. It's actually like 1.97 for first place. So, it, the max score would be a bit under that. Or, like, a bit under 10 points. So, we're nearing, like, the max out score here. But yeah, very, very good SS. And up next, we have GN. My guy. Um. I mean, what I say, it's I'm literally traveling with this guy tomorrow. I hope he's packed for the for the flight. Because <laughs> <laughs> I he have... packed yet? Don't um, lie. But yeah, he's a jet, is. Isn't he? I, I saw him earlier. He was complaining about a note lock in the third map, the two B map, I believe. Oh god, okay, okay. Yeah, note lock is an issue. Hopeful, I believe. I've fixed most no lock issues with the customs that are coming on Friday, but I'll make sure to double check. But yeah, this, the same accuracy on the first two maps actually, that's very funny. The, yeah, really good scores. 4th place, 6th place, 2nd place twice, and 8th place. 9.66 points, that's very close to the max score you can get, an average act above 97. Just in general a very strong showing of our my uh, my favorite gaming player of all time, my idol. And that's like I say that, those scores are crazy, and there's there's, there's two high up. <laughs> yeah. Some very, very some very good scores. Yeah, this is third place. Next up, Bartek. Oh, look at this. First place in Dandelion. Second place in Minefield Surfing. Third place in Octopus Stage. Second place on the Flashlight Map as well. Oh my God. So happy you're playing. I, I know you like storyboard maps. You you love them in Banger Bonanza. So I was very happy to see you show up for this. Let's go. You love to see it. Yeah. And he 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 wants to play. Look at these scores. Like he practiced hard. Yeah. 
Yeah. I saw, just... I, I saw a Ruth complaining in chat asking if anyone could, was. Or no, that was uh, Aleph actually. Aleph was the one complaining if anyone had practiced the uh, Octopus that Dance, but you can see that Bartek also practiced. Well. I mean, you know what? You also know these maps, so you don't need to practice as much, but you're, you practiced. Historical practice. Well, I mean, it shows, because mm -hmm. all five of those scores are <laughs> correct. They're really good. How did someone beat that? Oh, yeah. The first place is one hell of a surprise. We have Sirek from Slovenia. What is this? This, this is so insane. This is actually this is... This is so good. Who who gets 99.74 on minefield surfing, dude? He just he Tell sent me. I need dude, answers. Yeah, it was so. He just sent me the MP link and DMs, and I looked at it. I'm just seeing 99s or across like and just really high acts across the board. I'm like, holy, how does anyone beat this? But yeah, this no one no 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 one beat it. <laughs> he he his first seed. Or well, he got for he got rank one on this. Yeah, it's just in absolutely insane performance. Absolutely insane. There's no other words for it. Very, yeah. very well played. I'm so excited to, to see you play uh, on the stage. But yeah, yeah, three first places here. Just incredible. This is really... This, I mean, it's just this is basically how good it's gonna get for a qualifier. Getting first place on everything is pretty unreasonable. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, all the ma well, that's all the players. So thank you for playing, and we have some last words, or I have some last notes uh, in these next slides. There we go. But yeah, uh, just to reiterate, your placement and qualifier may not correlate to how you do in the event. So even if you qualify 16th, you still have a chance because you don't know you don't know exactly what's gonna come up for the maps uh, on Friday. So you can if you just place top 12 on the first map, you're through. So we can see some f uh, upsets here, because people who, the people who practiced aren't going to be able to use that practice as much for these Cyrene maps. And I'll be, a bit, I'll be a bit more detailed. After the first map, there'll be 12 players left, and then after the second is 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 1. So that's how it works. On the last map, there's going to be two players left, and then obviously the winner of that one wins the whole uh, event. Uh, but yeah, we'll be on the second stage uh, at 12 o'clock on Friday. I forgot to type Friday. It's on Friday. You can also check the CUE, uh, the CUE uh, website because uh, it's in the it's on the time uh, schedule thing. I don't remember like what it's called. Yeah, yeah. it's on the the activities page. Yeah, yeah that's it's on what it's there. called. Thank you. So happy to yeah. have you here. <laughs> uh. But uh, I believe that's it. Uh, good luck to every to all sixteen players who qualified. Um, I'll be adding you to a channel in Discord to uh, ask some stuff because we need. Since you'll be playing at um, other setups, we'll have two dedicated setups for the event, so you won't be able to use your own. Um, so I would like to ask for stuff like tablet area skins and stuff, just so you have um, so you can set up things faster when you're when it's your turn to play. Because the way this is gonna work um, is that I'm gonna call up two people on stage, and the 14 others who haven't played the map yet have to leave. You're not allowed to see or hear the song while when, if you haven't played it yet. Is the idea? So it's got a complete save read for everyone. Um, and obviously we're at the event, so we can actually enforce this. So yeah. Uh, after you've played the map and the next people are gonna play it, you can sit and watch because you're not gonna you're not gonna want to help them because you wanna get through yourself, right? So, but yeah, everyone else who's not in who didn't qualify can watch as well. But the people who haven't who are gonna play it has to leave for uh, until they get called. Like, um, I take it the the, the streaming the streaming all the rounds or the streaming like certain rounds, you know. Um, plan that. Everything is streamed. I'm pretty sure. Everything's streamed. Okay. Yeah, it'll just be in two parts because I want I want to split it up so it doesn't overlap too much with the CW tournament itself. Because originally it like two thirds of the event was overlapping, which uh, was very bad if someone had a match at that time because they wouldn't be able to play a whole stage, which would just basically stop everything. But uh, now it's um, it starts at twelve. 
it'll be two hours to do the first three rounds, I believe. And then uh, 16, I think, it will do the rest. And it should take an hour for the last four stages. Since there's less players at that point... Um, yes, this is smooth, my guru. But uh, since there's less players, it'll take less time to call people up and uh, get them ready for the next map. But yeah, you'll have a few minutes to just like select your skin, test around with the tablet area, or like set in your own tablet area, and then you play the map. It's as simple as that. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be in the lobby. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to fix, or like, I'll have to check up on that at the event and talk with the, the staff to see how that's gonna work. Because my imagination, at least, is telling me that we're actually, we're just gonna be doing. People are gonna be playing in solo, and then they'll just press play at near, uh, about the same time, and then we'll just stream like the screens. Is what I'm thinking. Because if you put it in a lobby, uh, because uh, otherwise you have to log in to go into a multi lobby, which is I think it's gonna take a while. <laughs> because pe some people might have longer passwords and everything, and you have to remember your password, which is uh, which would be a problem <laughs> for some people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, there's just a lot of complications if you have to log in, so that's why I'd rather just have it be solo. Um, I know, else, that could make it yeah. easy, wouldn't it? Especially with how often people are going to be switching from the, switching off the setups and having to log in again. So yeah. But yeah, uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, this has been Doomsday and I to, uh, for commentating. And I hope to see you there on Friday. Any last words, yeah. Doomsday? Uh, yeah, just like I said, looking forward to seeing everyone there. Hope everyone has fun with what we've cooked up. We've cooked up some some habaneros for you. Um, and if you're not playing, I hope you can have fun watching, whether you're watching at home or watching at the event. Either way, I hope you enjoy. Alright, goodbye. Bye.